Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to another episode of Whatever Happened To, the series where we take a where are they now look at players who found success in the National Hockey League but are no longer permanent fixtures in the league either due to controversy, poor play or just rotten luck. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at a former Calder Memorial Trophy winner, a Stanley Cup champion, and a former 30-goal scorer in the league. As we ask, whatever happened to Scott Gomez? After being selected 27th overall in the 1998 NHL entry draft by the New Jersey Devils, Scott Gomez spent the 98-99 season with the Tri-City Americans of the Western Hockey League. After notching 30 goals and 78 assists for 108 points in 58 games, as well as 19 points in 10 playoff games, Scott Gomez showed that he had nothing left to prove at the junior level and that he was ready to play in the best league in the world. The 1999-2000 NHL season saw Gomez crack the Devils roster out of training camp. Gomez took his opportunity with the Devils and ran with it as he notched 19 goals and 51 assists for 70 points in 82 games. This production was good enough to earn him a trip to the 2000 NHL All-Star Game and win Gomez the Calder Memorial Trophy, awarded to the best rookie every season. However, Gomez was not finished earning silverware as he scored 10 points in 23 games during the 2000 NHL playoffs to help the New Jersey Devils defeat the Dallas Stars in the Stanley Cup final, clinching the Devils' second Stanley Cup title in franchise history. The 2000-2001 NHL season saw Gomez notch 14 goals and 49 assists for 63 points in 76 games during his sophomore season in the NHL. Gomez also scored 14 points in 25 playoff games as the Devils made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals once again, but the defending champions were defeated by the Colorado Avalanche. The 01-02 NHL season saw a dip in Gomez's production as the former first round pick notched 10 goals and 38 assists for 48 points in 76 games. This dip in production didn't affect the Devils' playoff chances though as New Jersey made the playoffs once again, But Gomez did not suit up for a single playoff game due to injuries as the Devils were eliminated in the first round by the Carolina Hurricanes. The 0-2-0-3 NHL season saw an improvement in Gomez's numbers as the Alaskan forward scored 13 goals and 42 assists for 55 points in 80 games. This improved production helped the Devils make the playoffs once again where Gomez notched 12 points in 24 games to help the Devils clinch their third Stanley Cup victory against the mighty Ducks of Anaheim. In only four seasons in the National Hockey League, Scott Gomez had already won the Stanley Cup twice. Whilst he would never lift the cup again after the 2003 playoffs, Gomez's best hockey was still yet to come. The 03-04 NHL season saw Gomez's production on an upward trend again, as he scored 14 goals and 56 assists for 70 points in 80 games. This production helped the Devils reach the postseason for the 8th consecutive year, but the defending Stanley Cup champions were eliminated in the first round by the Philadelphia Flyers. The 04-05 season saw the NHL in a season-long lockout. After initially going to play in Russia and then having second thoughts, Gomez decided to return home and play for the Alaska Aces of the ECHL. Gomez lit up the league, as any NHL superstar should, notching 13 goals and 73 assists for 86 points in 61 games, becoming the face of the league and earning all-star honours, as well as the award for MVP of the ECHL. However, Gomez got injured four games into the postseason and the Aces were unable to win the playoff championship as they lost in the third round to the Trenton Titans. The 05-06 season saw Gomez sign a one-year, $2.2 million contract to remain with the New Jersey Devils as the NHL resumed play. The lockout year spent in the ECHL seemed to ignite the hidden offensive powerhouse inside Gomez as the former first round pick scored 33 goals and 51 assists for 84 points in 82 games, the best numbers Gomez would have his entire career. Gomez also added 9 points in 9 playoff games, but it wasn't enough to help the Devils win the cup again as they were eliminated in the second round of the playoffs by the Carolina Hurricanes. 
After his one-year contract with the Devils ended, on July 25th, 2006, Gomez was awarded another one-year contract, this time worth $5 million, by an arbitrator, which Devils GM Lou Lamorello accepted. This meant that next offseason, Scott Gomez would become an unrestricted free agent for the first time in his career. Gomez rewarded the Devils with 13 goals and 47 assists for 60 points in 72 games during the 06-07 NHL season. Gomez also notched 14 points in 11 playoff games as the Devils made the playoffs yet again, but they were eliminated in the second round by the Ottawa Senators. Then, on July 1st, 2007, it was announced that unrestricted free agent Scott Gomez had signed a seven-year, $51.5 million contract with the New York Rangers, worth an average annual value of roughly $7.4 million a season. Just like that, Gomez had left the only team he had ever known and signed with the Devils' bitter rival across the Hudson River to play under the bright lights of Madison Square Garden. The 07-08 NHL season saw Gomez suit up for the New York Rangers and have a strong debut season for the Broadway Blue Shirts, as he notched 16 goals and 54 assists for 70 points in 81 games. Gomez also added 11 points in 10 playoff games, as the Rangers made the playoffs for the third consecutive season, but unfortunately Gomez couldn't help his new team reach Stanley Cup glory, as the Rangers were eliminated in the second round by the Pittsburgh Penguins. The 08-09 NHL season saw Gomez become an alternate captain of the Rangers as he scored 16 goals and 42 assists for 58 points in 77 games. A slight dip in production compared to the previous season, but still respectable numbers in his sophomore season in New York. Gomez also added 5 points in 7 playoff games as the New York Rangers went to the playoffs again, but were beaten in the first round by the Washington Capitals. Then, on June 30th, 2009, Scott Gomez was traded, along with Tom Pyatt and Michael Busto, to the Montreal Canadiens, in exchange for Chris Higgins, Doug Yannick, Ryan McDonough, and Pavel Valatenko, in what would be one of the best trades in Rangers history, and one of the worst for the Habs. Ask any Habs fans how they feel about that trade, and they will still get angry, it's great. Thanks for that trade, Montreal, we really appreciate it. The 09-10 season saw Gomez suit up for the historic Canadiens franchise, as the former first-round pick notched 12 goals and 47 assists for 59 points in 78 games during his first season with the team. Gomez also added 14 points in 19 playoff games, as the Habs made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, but they were defeated by the Philadelphia Flyers. However, after years of success in the NHL, Gomez's career was beginning to take a downward turn. The 10-11 NHL season saw Gomez's point production cut in half as he only scored 7 goals and 31 assists for 38 points in 80 games. Gomez also put up 4 assists in 7 playoff games, but the Canadians were eliminated in the first round of the playoffs by the Boston Bruins. I can imagine there were many angry Habs fans in that series and plenty of ecstatic Bruins fans. Ah, sports are the best. The 11-12 season saw Gomez play less than half a season for the first time in his career. This affected his point production massively as Gomez only scored two goals and nine assists for 11 points in 38 games. This poor season by Gomez didn't help the Canadiens' playoff hopes as the Habs missed out on the postseason for the first time in five years. After several years of declining point production, Gomez clearly wasn't the player he used to be which would make the next chapter of his career full of instability. The 12-13 season began in a lockout, so Gomez decided to return to the ECHL and join the Alaska Aces once again. Gomez potted 6 goals and 7 assists for 13 points in 11 games with Alaska before the NHL season resumed. However, Gomez faced some complications when he returned to the league. The new collective bargaining agreement, which brought the lockout to an end, forced teams to count any AHL players' salaries above $900,000 against their NHL team's salary cap, meaning an NHL team couldn't bury an underperforming player on an expensive contract in the minors to provide salary cap relief. This affected Gomez, as this is exactly what the Canadians wanted to do with Gomez after years of declining point production. Also, the new CBA allowed teams to buy out two contracts for up to two-thirds of the contract's value without the buyout counting towards the team's salary cap during the 2013 and or 2014 off-seasons. 
However, the buyout couldn't be used on injured players. So for Gomez to avoid an injury and be eligible to have his contract bought out at the end of the season, Habs GM Mark Bergevin told Scott Gomez to stay off the ice for the shortened season rather than play. This caused further problems as the NHL Players Association became concerned that spending the rest of the season away from hockey would affect Gomez's ability to potentially find a place on another NHL roster, even at a reduced salary, due to his lack of recent play at the top professional level. To rectify this problem, the CBA was revised on January 15th that year to allow teams to use one of their buyouts before the start of the 2013 shortened season with the caveat that players bought out would still be paid their full 2012-2013 salary, which would still count towards the team's salary cap. With this new revision in place, Gomez was quickly placed on unconditional waivers and was bought out by the Montreal Canadiens on January 17th, 2013. Just like that, Scott Gomez had been kicked off one of, if not, the biggest franchise in the National Hockey League. Gomez wouldn't remain a free agent for long though, as on January 23rd, 2013, he signed with the San Jose Sharks to a one-year, $700,000 contract. This move started a string of one-year contracts for the aging Gomez, as he fought to try and stay in the NHL. Gomez played the shortened 12-13 season with the Sharks, notching a disappointing two goals and 13 assists for 15 points in 39 games. Gomez also put up a pair of assists in nine playoff games, but the Sharks were eliminated in the second round of the playoffs by the LA Kings. After not being re-signed by the Kings for the upcoming season, on July 31st, 2013, Scott Gomez signed a one-year, $900,000 contract with the Florida Panthers. Once again, Gomez was on the move across the NHL to prove that he still had gas left in the tank and could still play hockey at the highest level in the best league in the world. The 13-14 NHL season saw Gomez suit up for Florida as the former first round pick looked to get his career back on track as he entered his twilight years. However, Gomez notched a measly 2 goals and 10 assists for 12 points in 46 games as the Panthers missed out on the playoffs for the second straight season. The 14-15 season saw Gomez return to the team that drafted him as he attended the New Jersey Devils training camp on a professional tryout contract. The Devils seemed impressed with Gomez's play as they signed him to a one-year, $550,000 contract on December 1st, 2014. Gomez seemed to rediscover his scoring touch with the Devils as the forward notched 7 goals and 27 assists for 34 points in 58 games, his best production in 5 seasons. Unfortunately, Gomez's renaissance wasn't enough to help the Devils make the playoffs as the team missed out on playoff action for the third consecutive season. After the New Jersey Devils went through managerial changes and wanted to ice a younger roster for the coming seasons, Gomez was not offered a new contract by the team. Instead, Gomez signed a PTO with the St. Louis Blues to attend their training camp and fight for a roster spot. His hard work seemed to pay off as Gomez signed a one-year, two-way contract with the Blues on October 7th ahead of the upcoming season. Gomez played 21 games with the Blues during the 15-16 NHL season, scoring one goal and seven assists for eight points in that span. However, when several Blues players recovered from injuries and the team needed spare roster spots, the team placed Gomez on waivers with the intent of sending him down to the AHL. However, after clearing waivers, Gomez requested a release from his contract with the Blues, so he was placed on unconditional waivers and became a free agent once again. After being released from his contract, Gomez chose to sign a PTO with the Hershey Bears, the Washington Capitals AHL affiliate, on January 14th, 2016. Gomez played well for Hershey, notching 4 goals and 20 assists for 24 points in 18 games, but Gomez exercised the release clause in his PTO on March 1st, 2016. Well, why did he leave Hershey when he was playing so well, you may be wondering? Well... After an injury to Senators first line centre Kyle Turris, Gomez signed a one-year, $575,000 contract with the Ottawa Senators to try and fill the void in Turris' absence. Gomez found himself one last chance to play in the NHL and show he could still be a productive player on an NHL roster. Unfortunately though, Gomez made little impact on the Senators roster as the ageing veteran recorded a single assist in 13 games with the Senators. Not exactly the best swan song in the league, but at least he got one point, that's better than zero, right? 
Then, on August 31st, 2016, Scott Gomez announced his retirement from playing professional hockey. News on Scott Gomez post-retirement went rather quiet for about a year, until it was announced on May 30th, 2017, that Gomez had become an assistant coach for the New York Islanders. To this day, Scott Gomez remains as an assistant coach for the New York Islanders organisation. With his quick transition from player to coach, it seems that Gomez is looking to contribute to a team's success behind the bench for the foreseeable future. Will we perhaps see Scott Gomez become a head coach in the NHL in the coming years? It's highly possible given his experience as a player, but I guess time will tell. But even though he saw a dramatic drop in his point production towards the end of his career, Gomez finished his career with 181 goals and 575 assists for 756 points in 1,079 NHL games, as well as 101 points in 149 playoff games. Those are some pretty amazing numbers, considering the struggles he had towards the end of his career to find consistency. But even though his career had its ups and downs, one thing's for sure. 16 NHL seasons, two Stanley Cup championships, and a Calder Memorial Trophy is all the proof you need to show that Scott Gomez had an incredible NHL career. And there you go. That's what happened to Scott Gomez. What do you think about Gomez's career? Was it good? Bad? Or do you wish he was still playing in the league today? I think he's a little bit old, but you might want to. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!